Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to talk about OBS scene filters and what you can do to make your game look a little bit different than everybody else and really kind of tune in your stream to make it look how you want. So let's hop in and let's check it out. All right, so we're going to hop into this view first. It's kind of awkward with how I've got to set up uh, OBS in terms of its layout just because I've got to like keep my camera in the corner over the preview so we don't get like that to infinity and beyond look. But the things that we're going to be messing with today so you guys know where to find them is if you go to your uh, your display input, now whether it's your main dis your uh, desktop capture, window capture, or, uh, or video uh, capture, like from a capture card, you just want to go down, right click on it, and hit up filters. And then from here, uh, you can add new filters under this uh, this key here. And this is what we're going to be kind of playing with. Mostly, I mess with uh, Sharpen Filter as well as Color Correction. So we'll take a look at those. Uh, and there may be uh, a couple other ones that we take a look at as well, but I'll mention those uh, when I go into it. But I just kind of wanted to give you a heads up on where to find the things I'm going to be talking about here in just a minute. So let's get to that part now. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is a pretty typical uh, escape from Tarkov scene. Uh, I'm currently on woods. I'm offline and all that kind of crap. Uh, 9 a.m., so, you know, sun is in the sky. Uh, shadows aren't super, super long. They're not super, super dark. But this is what a standard scene looks like without any filters whatsoever. <clears throat> One of the first filters I usually mess with um, is my saturation. And that's just to bring a little bit more color to the stream. I've noticed that when I run more saturation, people usually come in and they're like, wow, the gamer looks really, really good. Uh, or I've gotten comments like the game looks better than what I've seen elsewhere. Uh, and that's just because, and it's not a lot, uh, it's just because what it does is boom, it just gives the whole scene more color. Uh, so this is on now and then off and then on, off, on. Now, this doesn't change it for what I'm looking at whatsoever. This only changes it for how, uh, you know, the, my community sees my stream. So uh, definitely something to keep in mind. The other thing I'll mess around with uh, in scenes like this is sharpening. Sharpen is a filter. Uh, you can kind of apply it. Uh, actually, before I hop too far, let me let me back up just one second. Uh, this is a saturation value of 0.5. So it's not a whole lot. You can actually take the slider and you can like really just crank it until the point where like your eyes start popping out of your head and you're like, oh my goodness, what is going on? And it's really up to you. Or if you want to go all the way down and make your game black and white, you can do that as well. But this is all done just off the saturation filter. Uh, but again, I typically run... Um, uh, just a 0.5 uh, on the saturation. Uh, the other thing that you can run as well that I found uh, that can help uh, with uh, the uh, your colors a little bit is you want to bring your brightness down by like 0.3 or 0.4, about 0.3, and bring your contrast up by 0.1 or 0.2. And what this does is it gives you a little bit more of a separation between light and dark. Now, again, this is all subjective, so it really depends on what you want to look for uh, for your community and how you want them to kind of see your game. Um, I, I typically leave contrast and brightness alone. I do actually run uh, lower brightness and more contrast in all of my, my cameras, but uh, when it comes to the game scene, um, I will leave uh, contrast at zero, uh, brightness uh, at zero, and the only thing I, I typically mess with on, on this filter is just the gamma. So again, off and then back on. And it's just for a hint. You don't want to go overboard. You don't want to make it obvious, but just a little bit of color can actually go a, a long way. The other thing that I'll add, depending on the game, is uh, is sharpen. So the sharpen filter essentially just kind of gives you a little bit more definition between the lines, makes the picture slightly less blurry. And again, it's just a little bit. We're not looking at like totally cranking it up. You just want to make it so when you when someone comes into your scene and they see it, they're just kind of put back a little bit because it's a little bit clearer. It's a little bit more welcoming than what they're used to seeing as they're browsing that category of game. Uh, so the sharpen filter on this, this is a 0.1. Uh, some games I'll run as low as 0.5, but this is on and now off and on, off, on. And so you can see like the differences are extremely, extremely subtle, but they're there. And so this is kind of an example uh, for here. I'm going to go ahead and load up another level uh, to show you guys what another filter does and how it can actually help your audience quite a bit in Tarkov. So let's get to that. All right. So this is another scene that we're pretty familiar with in Tarkov. Uh, whether you're, you know, doing a night raid or you're inside of Interchange and, you know, Idea or uh, Ollie or whatever. And, you know, back in the corners, it gets super dark. 
So one of the things you can do if you want um, is you can increase the gamma through a filter so it only impacts the stream and doesn't actually change your gameplay. Um, and you can do this in a couple of different ways. Uh, the first way, this is only turning up the gamma. And by doing so, uh, essentially, it makes it so chat can actually see what's going on. But when you really kind of take a look at the scene, it throws kind of a, a haze over the whole uh, picture. And so if you use a combination of gamma and contrast and brightness, you can get rid of a little bit of that haze and kind of illuminate the scene without really uh, blowing it out. So this is gamma only. This is nothing at all. And this is gamma plus brightness plus contrast and again with this what i'm doing is i'm lowering brightness very slightly raising contrast just a little bit and then gamma just a little bit as well and you can see how the the, the whole scene itself isn't as blown out as it is when i do gamma only so it's better on the eyes it doesn't look as crappy by any means uh but it still kind of brings up the detail just enough so chat can see what's going on if that's what you want to go for uh, so that's again something else you can do with the filters one thing I want to add real quick, uh, I'm not going to go through all the settings for your cameras and stuff. I'll do that in another video. But filters aren't limited to just your um, uh, your uh, your game. If you want to throw a filter on, I'm pretty sure you can even, yeah, you can, if you want to put a filter on your camera frame, you can put a filter on your camera frame. So if you want to roll like old school, like a black and white theme, whatever, you can put it on the whole scene even if you want to. So you can do a lot with these filters inside of OBS. Uh, so definitely check them out. Uh, what I'm going to do in this next part of the video is I'm going to go through a few different games and just kind of show you guys, uh, you know, uh, base, saturation, saturation plus sharpness, maybe some other stuff. I don't know yet. Uh, I'll put it on the screen with what's going on. I'm not going to talk over it because it doesn't need it. And, uh, and yeah, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. All right, dudes, and there you have it. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video going over things like sharpness and saturation, as well as your gamma to really kind of help you out in games like Tarkov where the scene is super dark. But, uh, you know, all the normal crap, like, subscribe. And if you guys want to catch me live, find me over at twitch.tv slash Cardo three or four nights a week. Till next time, dudes, stay humble. Peace out.